Alright, this one's going to be on KeyNav. It's a way to move your mouse cursor around and do uh, mouse clicks without actually using your mouse, just using your keyboard. Um, so I'm going to demonstrate out here. If I start it up, I do control semicolon. And you see my mouse over here, right? It's in the left side here. Let's say I wanted to move it to uh, the right side somewhere in there, okay? I can go there, I can go here, and once I'm done, look at that, my mouse now is over here on the right side, right? It'll jump without using my mouse. Anyways, that's what we're going to be doing um, with this program here. So let's bust this out here. How do we uh, start this? Uh, the Normally, I, I like to start this is actually have my own function to do this. So what is my function? I have this one to reload the key nav. So kill any existing key nav, right? Because um, you actually have multiple key nav running, and you don't you don't want to do that. So you can kill all key nav, and then we're gonna run key nav as a daemon. Um, and that's basically what we're gonna do here. So basically, this is my little command to run it, right? And you're going to have to do that also like to uh, reload it if you ever change any configuration files uh, in your key nav you want to update the changes you have to like uh, restart it okay anyways that's what we're going to do there to enable it and this is the uh, configuration it should be in your home folder it's just called dot key nav rc and the way that you'll start this this is the default configurations so you do control semicolon to start and escape is just to cancel it out uh, and this is the vim hotkeys hjkl um, you know to select the the region that you um, not the region the the grid that you want to go to the box so for example let's do that again we want to do control semicolon and let's say i want to go to um, that little icon up top you know up here where that little um, was this one called the volume icon so my mouse is way over here we'll leave it there right and uh, we have our semicolon to start it and I can do like you 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 and it goes all the way to that icon and I can hit space to click on it look at that it'll actually click right anyways that's what uh, you can do with the key nav uh, let's do another example here. Let's say this one here. Let's say I want to click on this X here without using the mouse. We'll put the mouse over here somewhere. And we can do control uh, semicolon. And I want to go to uh, this upper box here. And I want to go to that box again. And I want to go B, B. And we'll do Y. And we'll do L. And then B. You and then when you let go, you hit space, it should quit out of that um, program or that window because we hit on the X, anyways. Uh, that's what you can do with this thing if you get really good at it. You know, it's just select the region that you want to go to and it'll move it around. Uh, what other hotkeys you can do in here? So, those ones are for selecting the boxes that we just did. This one is for. Um, I don't have my multiple monitor set up, but it should be for multiple monitors. So if you have like you know dual monitors or uh, more than that, you can actually um, shift the grid to different regions. And the space one is just to click like we did, right? Um, and this one's for was that right middle uh, left click, and this one's for zoom window. What does this zoom window do? Basically, if you have a window like this. And if you want to, if it's focused, you can do any hit W, it should be just focusing on that window, right? And um, you know, you can select the region that you want to go into. Uh, saves a little bit of time, I guess. So that's one's for the window zoom. Uh, this one's for the mouse cursor. So instead of doing like um, by default, you have to have you know the whole window. And then you can you know uh, narrow it down, but if your mouse is closer to where you want it to go to, like let's say my mouse was right here, next to this X here, I can just do um, you know hit the C uh, hotkey. So if I do this, I hit C, and it goes you know relatively to where my mouse cursor is at, 
and I can just you know do it really quicker if I hit like B uh, we'll do U B Y and hit space and you get the idea it's much quicker to uh, jump to where the mouse cursor is already at right anything else in here uh, this one's if you're if you're holding on to the control you can still you know select your little uh, grid boxes this one's for recording macros so if you ever use uh, macros in, in Vim it's pretty much the same way you, you hit Q and then you assign it to a letter uh, make sure the letter is not binded to any other hotkeys already all right um, I tried to because they said in the manual you can actually save it to a uh, key nav macros files but I don't know it doesn't work or because you know the, probably this program hasn't been updated in a while maybe that's why it doesn't work but I'll show you the macros that does work uh, while it's in the session but as far as like making persistent um, I don't know I didn't save it but I'll show you the macros anyways right so let's say for example I want to click on this thing here um, and we want to record that right so let's say for example I can uh, bust this out I'll hit Q and we're gonna uh, record something we're, we'll bind that to a letter we're gonna do R okay and then we are just gonna do our um, was that um, you know normally what we do so we we'll do U here and we we'll hit space and that's what it's gonna do right now it saves it uh, we're gonna escape out of that so anytime we want to repeat that because now I save it to our um, macro R so if I want to repeat that I just do uh, control semicolon to start it and I do a uh, at sign and an R and you'll see that it will actually automatically jump to um, what we did uh, for our macros already right so anytime you know anywhere my mouse is at doesn't matter I can do control um, semicolon to start it and I can do the um, at sign and then I'll do R and automatically it'll redo that macro that we've uh, done all right anyways uh, that's for the macros although like I said it doesn't save it so uh, when you reload your key nav or turn off your computer or whatever um, it will be gone all right anyways um, if you can figure out how to save it then you know you can actually uh, uh, have multiple macros but as of right now, since this program hasn't been updated, it probably doesn't work. Or maybe it does, I'm not sure. You probably have to write it manually because uh, you can't really, um, uh, you know, uh, save it with uh, the program at the moment. Other stuff you can do, you, actually, you can actually run scripts or uh, bash commands or something like that. So this one, they have it for um, the Firefox, but I made it this one uh, work with Chromium here, All right. So let's say, for example, um, I want to focus on Chromium. Doesn't matter where I'm at. So let's say I switch uh, workspace here. So we're not in the same workspace anymore. We're in workspace uh, three here, right? Um, and if I want to like jump to Chromium, my web browser, I just hit F. So I just um, activate the grid. I'll hit F, and basically it'll jump to my um, Chromium web browser. I'll focus it not really a big deal feature but you can run like other scripts with it and um you know that you can do anything else that in here oh they do have this a um history back so basically anything that you've done you know like any of these hotkeys and you hit a it will actually uh go back to you know what you did before pretty much it for the default configurations um anything else Oh yeah, if you want to change the grid to something else, uh, like this one is three by three. So let's say for example, where was that at? Like this one here. If you want a grid, we'll save that, but we actually have to reload this here. We'll reload it. And now when you activate it, you see it has like a tic-tac-toe grid, all right? Um, so there you go, but you have to buy more keys if you want to do uh, the other grid. Um, what else going to do? Actually, I'll show you mine. No, maybe not. Uh, but I do have my other one here. I have a, another script that actually, uh, once you end, uh, it'll actually activate another script. Now, I'll probably talk about that another time. If you're interested, let me know. Uh, we'll do another video on that. But basically, that is for KeyNav. If you want to use 
uh, your mouse cursor without the mouse just using your keyboard you can do uh, some of these stuff uh, I believe you can do drag and drop too but um, or is that one dragging and dropping they show you an example here if you want to do that with um, you know um, dragging and dropping I didn't do that in here but you could anyways uh, if you want to use keynev it should be in your repositories uh, hasn't been updated in a while so like I said the macro saving doesn't work but the macros actually does work if uh, you don't want to save it persistently. Anywho, that's it for this one.